Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are walking to our next destination. You know that part in Half Baked where uh, Chappelle was taking that girl out on a date and he ain't had no money. She was talking about getting ice cream, but it's on the other side of town. He's like, yo, why don't we walk? It's a nice day out. <laughs> We're walking because Uber is too damn expensive, but, <laughs> and we gotta walk off this food too. Good morning, wife. I keep hearing about Cafe Dumont, but that, that line, the line over there was super ridiculous. We were not waiting in that line whatsoever. I mean, the entertainment was fantastic. You know, they got the trumpets out there and all. We're gonna go to Loretta's. So we're gonna go to Loretta's because she has not had their beignets yet. Beignet. Oh, you yeah, haven't had a beignet, period. I've been too busy for conference stuff. She out here working, getting her professional thing on. Meanwhile, I'm gonna drop out, but it's all good. Um, Morning call, 5101 Canal Boulevard, New Orleans. And uh, I took public transportation. I have no idea what neighborhood this is, but the RTA 91 was very pleasant. Only cost me $1.25 versus Uber probably would have cost me like $12. We're gonna do an order of beignet. We're gonna do a coffee. Sir, it's my first time. I'm okay, gonna try well, an order of beignets. We, this is what we're famous for, that and that. Yes, sir. Let's That's coffee with milk. Okay, let me do the uh, order of beignets, coffee with milk. Yep. Um, Start with that. That's it. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna show you real quick. See that? Okay. All right, powdered like sugar. That. Lay it on, That's lay it on. <laughs> Don't worry about the mess, enjoy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yo, shout out to the unlimited use of powdered sugar here. I'm gonna go ham. The best breakfast is simple. We're gonna do that. But I'm tempted to dip this in that. We're gonna get to that, we're gonna get to that. This feels beautiful in the hands. Oh, ooh. Come on now. I can't leave this exposed. You're not, you're not doing it. You got, oh, it's hot, it's hot open it's piping hot piping hot morning call beignet first time delicious i can tell first bite warm light sweetness from the powdered sugar This piping hot, a little, little bit of crispiness on it too. Fantastic. I feel like it's something I've kind of had before. Cause it's doughy, it's like a donut slash funnel cake. It's not a mind blowing experience. It's just a very enjoyable experience. I get to try it here where it's a famous for. Don't give me unlimited powdered sugar now. All right, Loretta's, if y'all see, Cafe Dumont was incredibly busy, so there's no line here. We're at the French market. This reminds me of a uh, outdoor flea market. My type of vibes, y'all know this. But we're gonna get some uh, beignets. They got the praline filled. I, I, I don't even know what praline is. I gotta do my research on that, but uh, I'm gonna do the traditional and the praline filled. They even have savory type of beignets too. They got like burger beignets. 
Get an order of beignets, traditional. Um, let me try the praline filled one too. Y'all got the, the burger one right now or no? No, not today. The only savory one we have is the crab. Let me try one. Uh, two cups of coffee, please. We don't have a uh, coffee. You ain't got no coffee? Um, you try it further down at Holy Creek? We will. Traditional. I ordered the praline filled. And the only savory ones they have is the crab one, so I'm gonna do the crab. All right, hey everyone. Hey, baby. <laughs> we are in Nola, New Orleans, and it's our last day here, and I'm finally getting a chance to taste a beignet. Part of the voice, I'm still getting over a cold. They have savory beignet. I never had a savory beignet before, and it's been years since I had a beignet. Last time I was here, ages ago, was at Cafe Du Monde. But people are saying Loretta's is the spot for the best beignet, so we're about to try that out. So this right here looks like it's the praline filled one. I see a filling. This looks like it is original. Yeah, I know I have a sweet tooth. Our thing is funnel cakes. So I know that I love beignets for that reason. Here we have the savory one. Oh, this, ooh, look at that. Okay. All right. So wait, I need another sip of my coffee to wake up. Oh my gosh, I gotta go to the conference later. I'm gonna be all dirty. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna take a picture of you. Oh. Okay. So obviously let's go for the original first. Oh my gosh, there's so much powdered sugar. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> this has the perfect amount of flakiness, like a, like a strudel, and then the inside is warm and gooey. Mmm, I love it. Mmm. I'm gonna put it down, move on to the next. Cause we eating a lot today, y'all. We fitting a lot in one day. This is a praline filled one. What is, what is praline? Um, it's called a confectionery. It's called a confectionery, what do you mean? That's what it says on <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Like it seems like, so yesterday I had like a praline, like, like a cookie or something. And it seems like a thick, it reminds me of condensed milk, but like in like a thick fudge form. And then they usually have like pecans in it. <coughs> Not you putting me on the spot, you testing me. <laughs> it's good, it's better. <laughs> it's This is so good. It's like, wow. This is my favorite. I love caramel syrup, caramel sauce, caramel filling. And um, butterscotch is cool and all that, but this, I'm used to the caramel, but this tops caramel filling. Oh my God. I feel like I look crazy right now. Like Tyrone Biggum. In my mouth, <laughs> I'm gonna cleanse my palate because we're about to do a savory one. So this is, uh, what is this, babe? Crab? Crab. Um, crab beignet. Let me smell it. Ooh. <laughs> it's 
I don't know if you can eat this, baby. It's all like really fresh crab. Really fresh crab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that powdered sugar. I'm gonna taste it without the sauce first and then a bite with the sauce. Damn. Damn. You might have to get another one. <laughs> okay, okay, let me do this off. Look at that crab meat right there. Yeah, that, that crab is working out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mm, look at that. We see. When I tell you the sauce is good, you don't really need the sauce. You really don't. So. Damn, that was. Your They're all my favorites. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because for that, I am definitely a plain Jane girl. Like, my favorite is vanilla ice cream. Like, I like vanilla. But once you throw caramel in the mix, same thing with my desserts. I love this. Could eat this all day. Original praline. It literally enhances and upgrades the flavor, the sweetness. So, if you have a sweet tooth like me, you gotta do the praline. And then if you craving savory, you cannot go on with the crab one. Matter of fact, this is the one I wanna actually finish. <laughs> but I want hubby to try it too. The one thing here is they, they give you an ample amount of powdered sugar. This is the traditional one, right? Yes. Yeah, they, they're not shy with the powdered sugar. Original. Morning call was good, but this is the best. And Cafe Dumont, I, I feel like Cafe Dumont is just, even though I haven't tried it yet, I don't think it would live up to my expectation because that wait is so long. But if you come here to Loretta, it's like, pick up, eat right here. Just living up to the hype. The, I noticed a Cafe Dumont. Delicious. That's delicious. I like, it's more crispier than morning call. Morning call is more fluffier. Let me try the praline. Slow. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> Not you making it rain on your... <laughs> it's excellent. Literally upgrade. Mind blowing. Upgrade. Unlock <laughs> my taste buds some more. Nola is turning my taste buds out. You should move here. Let me look on Zillow real quick. <laughs> this is the crab one. Um, me and blue crab is weird. Sometimes I can eat it. Sometimes I can't. Let's try this one. That, that's too blue crappy. Uh. <laughs> so, I think I know what my problem is. It's good. I should be a blue crab taste tester because if I can eat it, that means it's not as fresh, but when it's fresh, when blue crab is super fresh, I can't eat it for some reason. I think it's just too fresh. This is too crabby for me. But my wife, she loves blue crab. Um, that praline filled one made this trip worth it as well. I don't think I'll ever, I gotta, you know, back home I gotta find a, beignet place that does it like this 
Back home, beignet place is probably like too like fancy and bougie. Like, I just want to go up there casually, walk up and get my beignets. Just like getting a donut. That's it. Just just like getting a donut. Yeah, I need to just walk up and get it without you charging me gentrification prices. Damn, I have too much powder on me. This walk here, this is a 30 minute walk from our hotel. Loretta's is a spot. Cafe Dumont might be the spot, but I, like I said, I, I don't know about waiting in line for that long to eat some beignets. Uh, morning call was cool too, if you're in the area, but I say if you come to Nola, French Quarter. the French Quarter, Loretta's is a game changer. This is just busy. This is where you should be going to experience your first beignet. And that's all I got to say. So we're here at the Louis Armstrong Airport in New Orleans, International Airport. Um, we have some time because hubby likes to be early everywhere we go. We like to be late everywhere. I don't like to, I knew you were gonna follow with I like to be, I don't like to be late. It is a constant struggle that I'm trying well, to like overcome. Like to be late. I don't like it. But we're here, we got an hour before boarding. And when we were at the French Quarter, Cafe Du Monde, we wanted to compare, I've had it before, Hubby hasn't had it, but we did want to compare it to where we ate earlier in the day and where he ate a couple days before. Um, but that line was insane, so we said, you know, we'll just skip it. And now that we're here, we have time at the airport, we saw there's a Cafe Du Monde here. Now, I told him, I don't know if it's fair, because we're not, we're not at the OG spot, but Again, he said, I mean, they still saying, they repping the name, right? Cafe Du Monde. So it should taste like the OG. So we're gonna check it out and see what happens. You know you're gonna try it. All right. So I ordered um, a frozen, I didn't know they had this. I don't, I don't know if this is new or if I didn't know about it last time, but I like to have um, hot coffee. So I never noticed a, a frozen sushi before. I don't know how new this is, but it's a cafe au lait, which last time I was here years ago, I got it hot. So it's like coffee with milk, like cafe con leche essentially. So I'm gonna try this. The sushi version. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. That is very sweet. That does not need any additional sugar. So this is Ooh, that looks good. the to-go They're very warm. Cafe du Mal. So looks like the uh, I sh I shook it off, but they're not stingy with the uh, powdered sugar over here. So yeah, but. oh, and it's warm. Now we'll say already it's very different from Loretta's. Like you see the, the funnel cake kind of consistency, not the flakiness. Let's see. Which one I like better? Loretta's, hands down. No question. Um, this, again, like I said before, it reminds me of funnel cake. Um, I was here years ago, so I can't even remember comparing this to the OG Cafe Du Monde that's in the French Quarter. Um, but I do remember the texture being this way. And, um, yeah, man, I mean, it's all right. Loretta's um, is number one, 10 out of 10. Okay, uh, this is just, I don't know. It's airy, I don't know if you can see that. It's warm, so that helps, but the dough, you know, 
It's dough, like fried dough with powdered sugar. So it's decent. If you're in a rush, um, no, and you didn't get to try it in the French Quarter because the line's insane, know that there's one here at the airport. Um, and I'm sorry that I can't compare it to like, you know, the original location, I, I don't know how this compares to that. But if you have time, make time. Don't walk, run. <laughs> Good thing about these beignets is like, they don't cost the arm and leg. You know, no. like eight, eight, seven bucks. So you know me around that. No, this order? Uh oh, babe, what are you doing? Okay. I thought that's, that's good. Yeah. That was really good. 385. That's really good. Loretta's, I mean, what sent it over the top of Loretta was the crab, the crab one. I think I spent uh, a little bit more money in Loretta's, but. Okay. Yeah, this is like a little bit um, more firm. Mm hmm. Not as easy to bite into. Oh, my man, Johnny Picker. Oh, it's more firm. Dense. All depends on what beignet place made a first impression on you. This could be very nostalgic to someone who's had this for the first time. But sometimes when places get overly and wildly popular, it's naturally for humans to be like, yeah, that place is too popular. Let me find something, somebody else that's not as popular and that I can call mines. This could be the case here. This could be a victim of its own success in that way. And this is probably really popular for people that come from out of town. So, if you ask me which one I like, Loretta's, Morning Call, then Cafe Dumont, in that order. But. Every went later on in the day, they were long. Was a line of Loretta's too? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you ask me, if you bring this to me, I'm not mad at any of them. Yeah, they're not just, mad. Just, just the way a beignet is, I am a beignet connoisseur now. The way that I would have such a big back here in New Orleans, if we lived here. It's a lot of big, big a lot of big back activities big going back. down. Central. <laughs> in our household, if we move down here. But I love beignets. Mm. Tell me what you think. What's your favorite place? What's your top three beignet place? Mm -hmm. I'm trying Delicious. To. Leave it in the comments. Oh. It's delicious. That's good. Like, but as a sushi. I had it hot at a uh, morning call. Uh -huh. It's good. Hot it's too. good. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, beignets are the bomb. I love it. Thank you for joining us in this uh, beignet episode. Thank you for my wife for treating me to this birthday weekend. We'll see you in the next one.